what did the Seahawks show you in that game? Well, they showed me some great uh, talent and, and skill. I love their game plan. It wasn't uh, complicated at all. We're going to just play our basic defenses. We're going to make the, the Denver Broncos beat us. And uh, they, they played well, and I think that's one of the things that surprised people. Peyton Manning really couldn't come up with anything. I can't audible to this or I can't because they weren't blitzing. They weren't doing things that allowed him to get into easy plays. And I, I thought they played very, very sound football. Did Peyton overthink this one? Did he think himself out of this game? Uh, you know, that can happen sometimes, but I think it was just the fact that these guys were so basic, they were fundamentally sound, they tackled well, they didn't give up big plays. There just weren't a lot of openings to really e explore and probe. You obviously know Peyton well. You guys won a Super Bowl together with the Indianapolis Colts. How do you think he's feeling now just a few days after losing that game? He's analyzing this and trying to figure out, I can tell you right now, he's figuring out how they can be a little bit better on offense next year, what improvements they can make. He'll go into John Fox in about a week with a list of about eight things that he can work on to do better, and uh, he's going to be ready to go next year. How much different is that than, say, an average player who I would assume after you get blown out in the way that you did in the biggest game of the year, maybe you just want to go on vacation, you want to get as far away from it as possible. That, that's how most people are. That's how I was after losses, but I, I promise you I've been with Peyton, and, and we lost them, you know, playoff games, and he'd always come back, I think we can do this better, we can do this better, here's a way we can do this better, and what do you think about these seven ideas, he's, he's going to be right back into it in about two weeks. Do you think he'll ever get over it, though? Well, you never truly get over it. I mean, I, I can recount every loss that we've had in the playoffs and things that we could have done and decisions that, that I made and maybe we should have attacked this way. Uh, you know you only get one chance. That's the great thing about the NFL. It's not like the NBA Finals where it's best of seven and you make adjustments and come back. Uh, you do it that day or you don't. Uh, but that's, uh, I think, the great thing that people love about it. So you embrace that, and you get ready to do it again next year. In any way, do you think that the loss in the Super Bowl casts a shadow on the great regular season that Peyton had? No, it really shouldn't. I, I remember my first playoff win in, in Tampa. We played Barry Sanders and the Lions. We held Barry to about 50 yards. Um, for people to think, oh, Barry Sanders – couldn't do it in the big game, and, you know, he's not a great player. Of course he was. We were scared to death of him, and the next time we played him, he went for about 200 on us. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where that day, Seattle was the better team. Yeah. Pete Carroll, interesting coach, a little bit different, he does is. things in a different way. What do you like about him? What do you respect about him? Well, I love Pete because he's not afraid to venture out of the box. He doesn't necessarily do what everybody else does. His players love to play for him. He's high energy, and uh, he really believes in his team. The one thing I, he said that I thought was great, we didn't leave our identity. We trusted that we could do what we do, and it would be good enough, and I, I think his players – just love that. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. We'll see you there.